This is Craig Powers of ASUG News at SAP TechEd in Las Vegas. One of the major announcements this week from SAP at TechEd and beyond has been the SAP Data Hub. What it is is a way for SAP customers to combine uh, numerous data sources um, and compile them in, in one place, uh, be it SAP data, be it third-party data, uh, unstructured data, structured data, um, as a place to analyze uh, that information. So it will be interesting to see how the Data Hub fits into the overall strategy for SAP going forward, how it fits in with Leonardo, how it fits in with S4 HANA, how it fits in with SAP Cloud Platform, and, and that'll be something to watch. Another major announcement at SAP TechEd was that SAP S4 HANA has hit the 1,000 live customer milestone. Now that's a big deal, that's a lot of reference cases hopefully that other customers can look at, but it's also interesting because um, there are over 6,000 customers that have purchased it, so there's still a long way to go and other customers implementing it. Now we can assume that most of those 1,000 live customers are either on-premise or in the private cloud, the managed cloud, whatever you want to call it, um, and they're not on that SaaS product, uh, which is being updated twice a year. Um, I asked SAP CTO Bjorn Gerke, uh, what about those customers that are using the on-premise product or deploying it in the managed cloud, are they going to fall behind um, in, in terms of innovation? Like I said that the public cloud version will be getting the innovations first. Those will be released first on that bi-yearly cycle, but then they will be applied to the on-premise slash managed cloud product. So th they won't necessarily be missing out on innovation, they might just be a little bit behind. So that's all I have for you right now, but we'll have lots more on the announcements and stories from SAP TechEd as the week goes on. And go ahead and head to asug.com news for more coverage.